Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, we are doing a six pack abs workout. If you wanna get that mid zone nice and toned, nice and lean, then keep with me. You do not have to worry about a thing. You don't need any equipment. I will talk you through each exercise and follow along with me. And we are going to work out together. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe for more videos like this. Let me know what other videos you wanna see. And yeah, leave me a comment like me know what you think join me on instagram and facebook and i feel like i've talked enough you ready let's go are you ready for the workout i'm going to start off talking you through the exercises first up our walkouts are really good exercise in toning that core keeping the correct posture then we're working on the obliques aka the side abs aka love handles with some side dips we'll do those on both sides then we are going to move on to foot taps again really good for control and um, that is a challenge actually i really struggled on this exercise but you got this then we're doing big hugs are these called big hugs probably not but it's winter and i just i just love a big hug Anyway, we're gonna get into the workout, so I'm just starting the timer there. Are you ready? Have you got some space? We're going straight in with the walkouts and go. So you want to be on your knees as a pivot, walk out your hands in front of you and back underneath your shoulders. Now the trick to this exercise is not letting your upper body touch the floor. You wanna walk your hands out as far as you can go, keeping the core engaged, keeping the lower back in line and just hover just above the ground and hold it as long as you can and walk back to center. A really good exercise. You'll really feel the strain when you're most stretched out so you'll feel this in your arms as well so it's an upper body workout as well pivoting on the knees walking out and back to center and relax for 15 seconds we are going on to our side now you want your elbow beneath your shoulder foot over foot uh, body in a straight line and go lifting up the hips I want you to lower them down and lift them back up when you lower them down just hover them above the ground I don't want you actually like flopping and collapsing into the mat um, think about pushing your hips forward and up if you get me almost like a thrust that'll really help you to make sure that your hips aren't sitting back and that you're keeping the core engaged really working those obliques keep the shoulders nice and low chin lifted pushing the hips up rep after rep one foot stacked on top of the other one hip on top of the other don't let the hip roll forward well done you're doing really well keep going just a few more and relax for 15 seconds then we're coming on to the other side because we want to be looking good from all angles feeling good feeling strong elbow underneath shoulder body in a straight line from head to toe and lift lifting those hips up pushing uh, the pelvis up and forward making sure that your hips aren't sitting back behind you that your ankles knees hips shoulders are in a straight line out from the body pushing all the way up really engaging uh, the obliques on the side that's closest to the mat one ankle on top of the other if you're more comfortable you can put one in front of the other whatever's more comfortable just making sure you're really engaging uh, in the core just a few more pulsing up as high as you can you're doing really well and relax for 15 then we are going to come onto our backs for the third exercise we are going in with the big hugs so i want you to start off um, with the knees into the chest and then stretch out let's go we're gonna stretch out into a nice dish shape keeping the feet off the ground um, upper body slightly off the ground and then you're gonna stretch all the way around and hug the knees into the chest keeping the chest nice and lifted so really feeling the full length of that body when you are stretched out from the top of your fingertips to the tips of your toes elongating the body and then bringing the arms out and around for a big hug as you scoop the legs up into the chest using the core for balance doing really well i don't want your feet to touch the floor at any point during this movement one more stretch long and hold relax 
well done resting for 10 seconds and then we are going in with the final exercise but not really the final exercise because we're doing two sets so guys and go with the foot tap so we're going to count these out okay i want you to do one two three four one two three four hands behind your head shoulders nice and low elbows nice and wide you are tapping your feet in towards the booty out away from the booty four taps each way this takes a lot of control try not to hunch your shoulders try not to bring your elbows in too tight keep it nice and elegant and relaxed as you use the core to really control the movement of the legs it will be tiring it will be hard but you've only got a few seconds left keep going counting it out and relax for 15 seconds and we are going to repeat those exercises huge well done going back into position for the workouts ready and go pivoting on the knees walking out your hands as far in front of you as you can and back out try and get your nose to just touch just touch the carpet but keeping that control. I don't want your back over arched. I don't want you hunching. As you come down, I want you to keep a nice straight line from shoulder to hip to knee. We are pivoting at the knee, not the hips, okay? Um, so you really want to control that movement. You'll feel it um, when you go out as far as you can. If you can't reach out that far, that's okay. That's okay. Just go out as far as you can. You'll still get a really good core workout one more reaching all the way out and relax relax for 15 we're coming on to our side for some more side dips so side plank dips elbow under shoulder one hip stacked on top of the other and go lifting up that hip body you're doing really well you'll start to feel the burn now um, which is good that's what we want right that's what we're here for pushing up the hips, thinking up and forward. Do not let um, your hips sit back, but keep them nice and lifted. One foot stacked on top of the other. You will feel the burn as you push all the way up. Try and get your body into a nice straight position when you push up, okay? Get the hips really all the way up. Doing really well, just a few more. Really well, keep going and relax coming onto the other side and we are going to smash out a few more really whittling down that waist and sculpting that core elbow under shoulder and go i put my hand on my hip just to really help me keep that placement and make sure that my hips aren't falling backwards and um, keeping my body in a straight line from foot to knee to hip to shoulder don't over hunch it. You can adjust the placement of your elbow and hand as is comfortable to keep you balanced. Doing really well, pulsing high. I know it burns, but that's the reason we're here. We're here to push ourselves, so keep going. You can slow down, but try not to stop. If you find the pulsing too hard, you can just hold the side plank position. Doing really well, just a few more. Really pushing all the way up. Don't cheat yourself and relax then we are gonna come in for our third exercise catch your breath take some deep breaths nearly there you're doing so well big hugs let's go stretching all the way out bringing the arms out and around and hugging the knees into the chest don't let the feet touch the floor at any point during this exercise as you stretch out lift those feet just above the mat reach your arms as long as you can be as tall as you can breathing as you go scoop the arms around knees into chest as you come up feeling super elegant super controlled taking it nice and slow breathing with the exercise don't over hunch your shoulders well done doing so well nice deep breaths feel the length of your body as you reach out and feel the power of your core as you hug the body into the chest and relax last exercise nearly there well done i'm so proud of you just a few more seconds and we are going in with the foot tap so we're going to count it out one two three four and go one two three four one two three four one two three 
foot, doing really well, just inching the feet further away and then inching them back towards you. Keeping a nice straight line from your hips to your shoulders to your head. Don't hunch the shoulders, keep your elbows nice and wide, chest nice and lifted, controlling that movement as you edge those feet back towards the buttocks and out further as you go really working the core this might look easy but as you can feel it is difficult but you're doing so well i'm super proud of you and relax you are done with the workout give yourself a round of applause this is a really good workout um as you know i love a good stretch after i'm finished so yeah just stretching out my lower back <laughs> Oh, well done guys I'm super proud of you let me know how you found it in the comments um, I love hearing from you guys you guys are awesome and I'm very grateful to have you in my life as my internet friends thanks for working out with me I hope that you get all the benefits of this do it lots of times love you lots bye bye bye